Hey guys, it's Aaron Meeks coming back at you again with another YouTube video. Today is going to be some speculation or what I think is actual real intel and what the next game is going to be about. I'm going to have two different videos of one, uh, this is like basically what I gathered from the Biblical Reaper interview which cuts back to gameplay which shows the intel. Uh, to the this guy, uh, I was talking to a guy and he gave me all this and all of it seems really really legit. And uh, the next video is going to be some new information I've gathered because it's just going to be too hard to put all this into a video. I've already had to redo this about like four times because I keep getting myself confused. But let's go ahead and get this started. What I gathered from the interview. Black Ops 3 will continue from the ending where Menendez dies, which explains why Biblical Reaper in the interview showed that specific ending and the guy on uh, the guy that I was talking to told me that that's the one that they chose and it's for a reason and that I will explain. Um, all this intel is pointing to a leak Biblical Reaper covered a while back. If you remember his video, Black Ops 3, biggest leak yet. Uh, it talks about like some guy came to him and told him the storyline, how it goes back in time. It's in the future, but it goes back in time through Woods and Mason's life. There's Evos, all that stuff, but let's just continue. Even more to confirm that the leak is most likely real is that Woods himself said there is only one leak that was actually real, and I believe he was talking about the same one. But anyways, Menendez becomes a martyr, which sparks a revolt. If you didn't know the Black Ops 2, there are multiple endings, and Treyarch chose the specific one where David kills Menendez and it sparks a revolt, the Cortis Die Revolt, which I will get onto later. Um, this It sparks a revolt, which also leads to the U.S. working for the revolt, which I believe is an excuse to or to use the test that Dr. Salim was conducting. The test that Dr. Salim was conducting is what made Evos. I believe Mason was his first subject, and I'm 100% sure that Mason is an Evo. Evo stands for Evolved Variable Operator Program. Now, the guy that I was talking to, he gave me this. He's, he the, one, he's the one that uh, wrote this out. And I'm just going to 100% believe him because everything else he's told me made abs it makes absolute sense. So I'm just going to assume that this is real. Now, if you guys didn't know on Twitter, there was a new account open called The Unmarked Man. Uh, here's a picture if you want to see. Uh, his first tweet was, The incident changed everything. Now, I'm thinking he's talking about the revolt of Cordis Die. And... Um, <clears throat> I think either I think the um unmarked man is either Hudson or Weaver. Gregory Weaver was a character in the Black Ops One storyline that just simply dropped off the map, and we have no idea what happened. But it more likely looks like Hudson. Uh, here's this picture it compares comparing uh Hudson and the unmarked man in a picture. Um, you can see. He's got the rolled up sleeves, he's bald. <laughs> On his left arm, the unmarked man, I'm talking about the guy that's shadowed. Uh, on his left arm, it looks like there's a watch, and it's in the same shape. It's kind of, it's a little bit bigger though. On Hudson's left arm, he has a watch. So I'm really thinking that this is Hudson. And uh, the only question is, who was his assistant? Because in Black Ops 1, there's someone else who's talking to him. Who is his assistant? I think it may be Dr. Salim, Gregory Weaver, or the U.S. government. Um, now, the U.S. government, what I believe it may be because it would be an excuse to use their Evo program, which Dr. Salim created. Uh... Gregory Weaver could simply just drop off the map, and he could have been the assistant the whole time. But most likely, I think it's Dr. Salim. But anyways, the Snapchats are Dr. Salim. If you didn't know, there have been Snapchats, like, <clears throat> I don't know, 12 now? They're all, like, this guy talking about his subjects or uh, how he's <clears throat> how he's brainwashing them and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I believe the Snapchats are Dr. Salim conducting his experiments and, uh, on new patients that are soon to be Evos. Possibly 
Evos against the Cordestai Revolution. Well, the pic the uh, the guy that I was talking to gave me this picture. It looks like uh, the Black Ops Three Trident, and it, there's a huge V against the Cordis Die symbol. So, yeah, this Black Ops Three sounds like it's going to be really, really good. That's all I've got for this. But my next video will be over the whole entire zombie correlating into the storyline. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see my next video, which I will be uploading as soon as possible. Um, all I gotta say, Black Ops 3 is going to be a really, really good game. Even though I didn't want it to be in the future, it still is, it's Treyarch. You can always trust them to give you a really good game, and right now, it sounds amazing. Hope we can see you next time. Thanks.